Yeah, so I got another Nanolite Force 300, but that's not what we're gonna talk about in this video. I will explain in a bit why I bought another one to begin with and why I'm buying so many lights. And of course, in today's video, we're gonna break down the music video or actually the live performance that I shot with my homie Jay in my backyard. So he wanted the same type of style that I posted in a previous video right here on my channel. I'll actually leave a link left or right so you guys can check that setup on how we went about it. So in today's video, I wanted to just break down basically everything that we use, all the lights, what we did with each light so you guys can get a feel on how we went about it. Maybe you guys are shooting music videos or a commercial or anything like that where you guys kind of want to get an idea on how to go about this light setup that we did so that's what we're gonna do in today's video so let's get started all right so first of all to get things out the way the reason why I got another Forza 300 is because I'm about to open Mario Land Studios I don't know why I decided to call that but what I mean by that is, I'm right now working on looking for different warehouses out here. So for me to just go ahead and have a big place for me to create and just have fun without worrying about, you know, cops giving me any issues. Me just having a place where I can just shoot for long periods of time and just try out different things. I've always had a dream of having a warehouse where I can shoot for myself and rent it out to other filmmakers. So the reason why I'm going to call it Mario Land Studios is because I want to make it big and epic. A studio that you've never seen before. That is my idea by like hanging lights up in the top. Like I'm, I'm going to go crazy with this setup. It's not going to be that big. It might be about 2,500 square feet. But I'm still looking because it's really hard to get a place that allows me to play music. That's the one issue that I'm having. Everyone's kind of deny me because of the music because you know I want to rent out to other filmmakers I want them to shoot their music videos ask myself I want to shoot anything I want in my warehouse so that's the issue that I'm having but hopefully in the next few months or even a few weeks I'm able to find a warehouse so I can go ahead and uh, open it up and you know start the whole process but anyways I went a little bit off topic I do apologize but in today's video we already know so we're gonna talk about the breakdown that I did for this video thing that you want to hear no I love how you never knew fear yeah, yeah. Ain't no coming back when you run away, yeah Ran out of time, I ain't got no more patience Don't you come back when the roof gone Don't you come back and tell me you are my new song so hopefully I remember the lights that I used. I know I used for the most part all of them. So I used four Pablo twos, the four footers. Those were the ones behind him. So we kind of had them slanted uh, sideways, like diagonal, and it was like a little bit off from each other. So it was in the back of him. We had a Force 60 in the back with cinefoil, so it doesn't flood everywhere. It just hits his back just to give him a back light. Just so whenever we did the silhouette shot from the second song, you know, he popped out more. And then we had uh, a two footer on the right side of him and that was coming from the back side. So when everyone went silhouette, you still saw a little bit of, of his face. You know, I didn't want to complete black. I wanted to show a little bit. So we had that backlight. We had the panel 150 on the left side and that one was the one that we used for flickering. And then for, was it on and off? Yeah, for on and off, I believe. And then we had this right here, which is the Force 300. That was a key light that was flashing up from the other side. So a little quick story here. We shot this video and the artist is actually like about six feet tall. So I really couldn't get the light over his head because it will tilt. I will, you know, I'm not trying to show the light stand or anything. So it, there was no way of doing it. So what I did was use the 300 on one side and the panel on one side. And I used the grids, as I explained on my previous video, to block it off from flooding everywhere. I wanted to just concentrate on him because if I took those off, they will flood up the whole background and it's in my backyard. I did not want to show anything from the trees, from the shed or anything that was shown in the background. So those are the lights that I use on the side to, to light them up and just keep it concentrated. That was my purpose to it. This video was really hard to do by the way because the wind was just everywhere. That's the bad thing about shooting outdoors, especially with fog. You don't know where it's going to go. So actually for most of the shoot, I had to actually just press record and then just go to the back side on the right side of him or left side and I had to just fog it up wherever the fog was going I had to kind of counter it and move the fog machine a different way just so it doesn't go in his face the purpose for me whenever I shoot music videos or just any videos in general 
I do not like the fog to go all up in the face of the artist or the person. I like to keep the fog behind them. It just looks more professional in my opinion. Unless it's like a trap music, then I guess there's exceptions for that. But for the most part, I like to keep the fog behind, keep himself real clear. Because when fog tends to get in their face, they go very soft, you lose contrast. So that's why I decided to grab the fog myself and fog it up in the background and kind of fight with the wind to know where it's heading. So I did that, it was very hard. The one bad thing about Nanlite that I do want to explain, so Nanlite is dope. The reason why I'm making this video is to show you guys the versatility and what you can do with all Nanlite products. I'm not sponsored by the way. I wish I could be, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just the versatility that you can do with the app. You're able to move all lights. However, there is a downfall and I talked about it in the video that I made for the app. It lacks a lot of things. So for example, a lot of the things you guys saw on the tube lights, my girl had to manually move it with her fingers. She is an expert with that. She, we kind of figured out what sucks with it that we had to kind of counter and work around, which I don't think we should be doing that. But anyways, we have to for the meantime. Hopefully the firmware is going to come soon. I will update you guys when that happens. But yeah, so we're having a problem with that. And then the other thing was the Nanlite, the 150 panel, the first part was flickering and if she was to turn that off or change it to just standard light, it's not gonna do that. So we, we literally had to turn it off with the app. I had to run and with the 150 panel, I had to change the settings from flicker to regular to standard light. So then from there, she's able to bring it back up and now it's not flickering. So the fact that I had to run around the camera, do that, it, it was just a disaster. So the app needs a lot of work, but the products themselves, I mean, you guys see what you can create in the backyard. Like, I'm very pleased and love Nanlite, the, what they produce. Their prices are really not expensive. They're very affordable. Overall, what you can produce out of them. Like, I love the barn door grids that they did for the tube lights. It allows to also concentrate the light. So, I used basically every single light I have from Nanlite. Well, not every light, but I mean, every light that they have for the most part, I use them on this set. Just to show you guys what you guys can create. It's very difficult with the app. I will not tell you guys to buy it just yet. Hold off on it. I know what you guys saw. It looked like we were knowing what we were doing, but to be honest, the app was holding us back from a lot of things. My girl is just a mastermind behind that app that she's just figuring out how to go about it. But it takes a lot just to get those type of look and effects and just for the lights to go the way you want it to go at a certain time. So it's just a lot of work on the app. That's the one thing that they're lacking. Terrible. I mean, Nanlite, if you guys are watching this, let me know in the comment below when are you guys going to update that app because that is the one thing you guys are lacking in and I can't wait for you guys to update that because that's just going to allow me to create bigger and better things for my videos. That's what's really holding me but that's why I'm also going with Nala. It's because they all work within an app so I think it's pretty cool so I'm well invested in it and for my warehouse that I was talking to you guys about earlier on, I'm going to go a little bit off topic but I'm investing in these land lights because I want to rent it out to a lot of filmmakers that come in inside my studio, inside my warehouse. And if they want options to create big things and stuff like that, we're going to have the app. All lights are going to be all within the app. So I feel like it just makes sense for me to invest in this one product or in this one brand. So it just makes sense for me in that end. But uh, back to the whole video. So yeah, I mean, the, the 150 panel was used for just flickering. The back tube lights was basically changing colors. She was doing her thing. My girl is like a genius, as I mentioned. The 300 stayed as a key light. But we had it dimming down and on, I think, on the second part of the song. And uh, what else did we use? We also used the 4 to 60, which the only time we like literally made an effect on it was when the heartbeat to the second song started. That's when we, she made it just turn off and on to kind of go with that effect. But yeah, it was really tough. I mean, it looks very easy. Um, it's not because it's all in the backyard. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I just wanted to show you guys what you can do in a backyard, in a living room, in a room. I mean, clearly I didn't film in a room, but you can, and you can make a lot of things with lighting. So in this channel, I'm gonna try to show you guys what I can create with the little things or with having anything, such as a backyard. Who films in their backyard to begin with? So I feel like it's just a great way for me to kind of show you guys what you can do. To, so for you guys to get your, your creative juice flowing and just know that you guys can create in your backyard. So that was pretty much for the, today's video. Hopefully you guys love the video. By the way, I'm about to play the whole video right now for you guys to enjoy. If you guys made it this far, you guys are the MVPs. I appreciate you guys. And uh, that's pretty much it. Enjoy the video, guys. Peace. Give me a reason, 
Give me something to believe in Give me love, I could keep it I know that you see it So give me a reason Give me something to believe in I can tell you anything that you wanna know I can sell a dream, no, I got it for the low I can tell you anything that you wanna hear No, I love how you never knew fear Give me yeah. a reason Give me something to believe in Give me love, I could keep it I know that you see it So give me a reason Give me something to believe in I can tell you anything that you wanna know I can sell a dream, no, I got it for the low I can tell you anything that you wanna hear No, I love how you never knew fear Look, no, you never knew fear See, told me that you couldn't hear me Had to get up out the crowd, yeah uh, No, it get a little crowded, yeah Gotta speak a little louder, yeah It could get a little rowdy, yeah Only settling for truth, though, yeah Told me that you from the south, though I give it to you how you want it, yeah Give it to you in the morning, yeah You wake up, roll the weed up, yeah No, I never mind zoning, stone a chick I need a piece, cause you so legit First, I ain't even notice it, yeah Might have caught you at the right time in the right way and gotta know who you rolling with Give me a reason, give me something to believe in Give me love, I could keep it, I know that you see it So give me a reason, give me something to believe in I could tell you anything that you wanna know I could sell a dream, no, I got it for the low I could tell you anything that you wanna hear No, I love how you never knew fear Give me yeah. a reason, give me something to believe in Give me love, I could keep it, I know that you see it so give me a reason, give me something to believe in I can tell you anything that you wanna know I can sell a dream, no, I got it for the low I can tell you anything that you wanna hear No, I love how you never knew fear, yeah Ain't no coming back when you run away, yeah Ran out of time, I ain't got no more patience don't you come back when the roof gone Don't you come back and tell me you heard my new song If you run away, then run away If you run away, then run away Maybe you could try another day Maybe you could try another day But don't you come back around when the roof gone Don't you hit me and tell me you heard my new song if you run away, then run away If you run away, then run away Don't you come back around me, I know you feel away Told you you could try another day Trying to flex on the gram like you know me I be on my solo, probably know the old me But the old me is gone, I don't call you back Know you feel away, wanna run it back The shit is a wrap, cause the line get dropped when you call me I have been on a mission, know you see me balling If you run away, then run away If you run away, then run away Maybe you could try another day Maybe you could try another day But don't you come back around when the roof gone Don't you hit me and tell me you heard my new song If you run away, then run away If you run away, then run away Eh, eh, eh